Hello grade 9 students, this is Teacher V and welcome back again here sa aking channel. Yung papakita ko sa inyo ngayon ay ang quarter 4 week 2 from our learner's packet ni John 4A Calabarzon. At ang lesson dito is Trigonometric Ratios of Special Angles. Ito yung ating learning task number 1. You have to complete the table below or isusulat ninyo yung 30, 60, and 45 degree na trigonometric ratios nila. So, pwede nyo ilagay na lang ito. So, for our sign, ayan, 1 half, square root of 2 over 2, square root of 3 over 2. So, ito yung 6 trigonometric ratios ng 30 degrees. And here naman, yung 6 trigonometric ratios ng 45 degrees. And dito, 6 trigonometric ratios of 60 degrees. Para naman sa ating learning task number 2. The lengths of the two sides of 30, 60, 90 right triangle are 3 inches and 3 square root of 3 inches. Find the length of the hypotenuse and the 6 trigonometric ratios. So, ito yung ating right triangle na 30-60. Let us assume na itong ating shorter leg is 3 while the longer leg is 3 square root of 3. Matatandaan na para makuha natin ang hypotenuse na ating 30-60-90, ang gagawin natin is ita times 2 natin yung ating shorter leg. Kung ang shorter leg natin is 3, itimes natin ito sa 2 or doblehin natin. Ang magiging hypotenuse is 6 kasi 3 times 2 is 6. Now that we have all the measurement of all sides of our right triangle, pwede na natin makuha yung sine, cosine, tangent, and other 3 trigonometric ratios. So para makuha ang sine, tandaan natin yung so. Opposite over hypotenuse. Ang opposite ng 30 degree is yung katapat na side. And that is 3. And ang ating hypotenuse is 6. So, 3 over 6. And pwede itong malawas term. Kaya magiging 1 half. Para makuha naman yung reciprocal ng sine, yun yung tinatawag nating cosecant. So, yung cosecant 30, para makuha natin, edi i-reciprocal lang din natin yung value ng sine 30. So, pagbalik ta rin mo lang siya, 2 over 1 or simply 2. So, ito yung cosecant 30 natin, 2. Para naman sa cosine, sa cosine is ka or adjacent over hypotenuse. Ang adjacent side ng 30 or yung katabing side niya is 3 square root of 3 then over natin sa ating hypotenuse. Kaya 3 square root of 3 over 6. Pwede nating masimplify yung 3 and 6. Pwede nating i-divide pareho sa 3. Kaya naging square root of 3 over 2 na siya. Ano ang reciprocal naman ng cosine? Ang reciprocal ng cosine is second. So, second, 30 degree. Balik ta rin mo lang yung nakuha mo sa cosine para sa second. Nagiging, ayan, 2. So, binaliktad lang natin. 2 over square root of 3. So, kailangan ma-remove natin yung radical sa denominator, matanggal to. Kaya, i-multiply natin pareho yung numerator and denominator sa square root of 3 para ma-cancel yung radical sa ilalim. Magiging 2 square root of 3 over 3. Kasi 3 times 3 is 9. So, square root of 9 is 3. So, matanggal na yung ating radical sa ating denominator. Next, yung tangent. Ang tangent ay makukuha sa pamagitan ng opposite over adjacent. So, i-divide natin yung opposite sa adjacent. Ang opposite is 3, adjacent is 3 over... Ang opposite is 3, ang adjacent is 3, square root of 3. Ayan siya, 3 over 3, square root of 3. Then, kailangan matanggal yung radical dito sa ating denominator. So, multiply ulit natin sa square root of 3, both numerator and denominator. So, magiging 3 square root of 3. Then, ito, meron pa rin 3. Pero itong 
3 times natin sa 3, magiging 9 na siya. Or square root of 9 is simply 3. Kaya may 3 tayo dito. Yung pag-multiply natin to, okay, magiging 9. Or pwedeng makancel to. Cancel mo na lang yung isang 3 here. Then yung isang 3. So, maiiwan yung naging isang 3 here sa denominator. And of course, huwag mo kalimutan yung radical natin na square root of 3. So, ang answer sa tangent 30 is the square root of 3 over 3. Ang reciprocal naman ng tangent is cotangent. So, para makuha mo ang cotangent, pagbalik na rin naman natin yung value ng tangent 30. Magiging 3 over square root of 3. Then, multiply again to square root of 3, both numerator and denominator, para makancel ang radical sa ilalim. We have 3 square root of 3 over, ay 3 na lang kasi 3 times 3 is 9, then square root of 9 is 3. The next, meron pa bang pwedeng makancel? Okay, pwede mong makancel itong 3 and 3. So, meaning to say, ang answer natin sa cotangent 30 here is square root of 3. Ayan, nakompleto na natin yung 6 trigonometric ratios ng ating right triangle. Paano naman yung 60 degrees? Yung 60 degrees naman, syempre itong other angle natin sa taas, yun yung 60 degrees. So, ang mangyayari lang naman dito sa 60 degrees, magkakabaliktad yung opposite and adjacent. Kung kanina ito yung opposite, ngayon adjacent na siya, then yung kaninang adjacent magiging opposite na siya. So, ganun ulit, sign is opposite over hypotenuse, kaya 3 square root of 3 over 6. Or simply, pwede mo masimplify yung 3 over 6 or ma-divide pareho sa 3, magiging square root of 3 over 2. Sa cosecant 60, pagbalik na rin mo lang to 2 over square root of 3, then multiply sa square root of 3, both numerator and denominator, we have 2 square root of 3 over 3. Sa cosecant Cosine, we have adjacent. So, ang adjacent is 3. Then, yung hypotenuse is 6. So, 3 over 6 or simply 1 half. Balik ta rin mo itong 1 half para sa second. E dito na siya. Sa tangent, so opposite. Then, ito yung adjacent. So, 3 squared of 3 over 3. Or simply cancel na to, Magiging squared of 3 na lang. Then, pagbalik ta rin mo yung square root of 3 para sa cotangent. So, magiging 1 over square root of 3. Tandaan, merong over 1 to. Kaya, naging 1 over square root of 3. Then, multiply sa square root of 3 para makancel yung radical sa ilalim. We have square root of 3 over 3. Kasi 3 times 3 is 9. Square root of 9 is Kaya nakuha na rin natin yung 6 trigonometric ratios ng ating 60 degree angle. Next, number 2, calculate the right triangle's side lengths whose one angle is 45 degrees and the hypotenuse is 4 and square root of 2 inches. So, find the trigonometric ratios. So, kung ang hypotenuse ng 45-45-90 right triangle is 4 square root of 2. Ang gagawin lang natin is ito. Tandaan na each leg of 45, 45, 90 right triangle is a square root of 2 over 2 times the hypotenuse. So para makuha natin yung leg o yung dalawang leg here, multiply natin yung hypotenuse sa square root of 2 over 2. Ayan siya. So ito yung hypotenuse for square root of 2. Then multiply natin sa square root of 2 over 2. So, so, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Kaya may 2 tayo dyan. Then, 2 times 2 is 4. Then, square root of 4 is 2. Okay, then 2 times 2, the answer is 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang legs natin dito is 4. At dahil kompleto na yung sides na ating right triangle, pwede na natin makuha yung ating 6 trigonometric ratios. Ang opposite is pareho lang naman, 4, and then yung adjacent is 4. 
Ang naiba lang is yung hypotenuse. Kaya ito, yung 45-45-90 right triangle, mas madaling makuha yung kanyang trigonometric ratios. So, ang 45 or sine 45 is opposite over hypotenuse, 4 over 4 square root of 2. Then, multiply lang natin sa square root of 2 para makancel yung 2 dito sa denominator, yung radical sa denominator. So, we have 4 square root of 2 over 8. So, bakit naging 8 to? Kasi may 4 na nga tayo dito. Then, pag pinultiply natin to, yung 2 sa 2, magiging square root of 4. So, square root of 4 is 2. Then, yung 2, it times mo sa 4, kaya naging 8. And then, pwede mo pa tong ma-simplify. Kasi 4 over 8, pwede mo silang divide pareho sa 4, magiging square root of 2 over 2 na lang. Okay? Kasi may 1 na rito, pero hindi na natin isinusulat yung 1. At para naman sa cosecant, edi balik ta rin lang natin to. I-reciprocal lang natin. Magiging 2, so itong 2, na nasa taas, so numerator, then square root of 2. And multiply lang natin sa square root of 2 para ma-cancel yung denominator na radical. So, we have 2 square root of 2 over 2. Okay, pwede mo cancel to. 2 divided by 2 is 1 or simply cancel. Kaya, ang answer is square root of 2. At madali na lang ding makuha yung cosine. Kasi ang cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse Then So, ang adjacent is pareho din naman sa opposite. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung nakuha natin dito sa sine, yun din ang makukuha natin sa cosine. So, ang cosine natin is square root of 2 over 2. At ang cosecant natin, ganun din. Pareho din kasi i-reciprocal mo rin ito. E di ibig sabihin, ang second is square root of 2 din, katulad ng cosecant. Punta na tayo sa tangent. Ang tangent, opposite over adjacent. So, opposite over adjacent. So, 4 divided by 4, the answer is 1. And pag nareciprocal mo yung 1, 1 pa rin naman. So, ang cotangent 45 is also 1. So, nakuha na natin yung answers or mga trigonometric ratios na ating 45 degree angle. So, sana naitindihan at nagets ninyo yung lesson natin for today. And nga pala, meron akong bukod na videos na pinapakita ko doon yung talagang lesson. So, pwede nyo rin puntahan or balikan yon Lalagay ko na lang sa description box yung link. Okay? So, i-review nyo rin yun para talagang ma-refresh kayo. Alright? At wag na wag na wag na wag mo kalimutan i-share to sa iba para matuto din sila sa math at hindi sila mahirapan sa pagsagot ng mga learning tasks mo sa iyong mathematics module. And that's it. See you again sa aking susunod na lesson or video. Follow me also on my Facebook page. And don't forget, again, like, share, and subscribe sa mga hindi pa subscribe sa channel ni Teacher V. See you again. Goodbye.